Hello, and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once-a-day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is number 781. The category is Planetary Names. This is a 21-question trivia quiz where all of the answers contain the name of one of our eight planets, and we're counting Pluto also, so nine planets. All the questions will have answers with a planet in the name. Thank you to the viewer who suggested this category, and good luck. Question number one. It doesn't make any sense that a mouse would have a pet dog, but that is the case in the wonderful world of Disney. What is the name of Mickey Mouse's yellow-orange-colored, medium-sized, short-haired dog with black ears? The answer is Pluto. That was an easy one. They get harder. Question two. Starting in 1985 and then discontinued in 2010, what was the name of the American automobile manufacturer, a subsidiary of General Motors, whose last vehicle models were the Aura, the Outlook, the Sky, and the View? Those are all models of Saturn. Question number three. Train's second studio album was released in 2001 and the album's title is derived from its lead single that says, she acts like summer and walks like rain, reminds me that there's a time to change. What planet is featured in the song and album titles? The answer is Jupiter. That song is Drops of Jupiter. Question number four. In 1837, William Bonifield laid out a new town in Mercer County, Ohio, and named it after what planet that was named after the Roman god of fresh water and the sea, probably because of the new construction of a nearby lake that was the largest man-made lake in the world at that time. That lake is called Grand Lake St. Mary's, and that town is called Neptune. Question number five. Gillette is a large American company that makes personal care products. What is the name for their division of razors and other products designed specifically for women like the Divine, the Vibrance, and the Embrace? The answer is Venus. Question number six. When it is enriched, what silvery white metallic chemical element, atomic number 92, can be used as fuel for nuclear power plants, the nuclear reactors that run naval ships and submarines, and can be used in nuclear weapons? Named after the planet Uranus, the answer is uranium. Question number seven. What 1996 comic science fiction film was directed by Tim Burton and featured an ensemble cast consisting of Jack Nicholson, who played two roles, Glenn Close, Pierce Brosnan, Danny DeVito, Martin Short, Jack Black, and others? The answer is Mars Attacks. Question number eight. Recorded by Michael Jackson and claiming the coveted spot of the official UK Christmas number one in 1995, what was the title of the song that says, I used to dream, I used to glance beyond the stars, now I don't even know where we are.
The answer is Earth Song. Question number nine. What is the name of the former automobile brand that was a division of the Ford Motor Company and released SUV models such as the Mariner and the Mountaineer and minivan models like the Monterey and the Villager? The answer is Mercury. Question number 10. Its position on the periodic table is the only reason it is named what it is. Following just after the planetary element with the atomic number 92, what is the planetary name of the chemical element with the atomic number 93? Ninety-two was uranium, ninety-three is neptunium. Question eleven. Often shortened to just Ziggy Stardust, the full title to the fifth studio album by English musician David Bowie is actually The Rise and Fall of Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from What Planet? The answer is Mars. The spiders from Mars. Question number 12. Based on Ryan Douglas Pearson's 1996 novel, originally published as Simple Simon, what is the title of the 1998 movie starring Bruce Willis, who plays an undercover FBI agent who protects a nine-year-old autistic boy? The answer is Mercury Rising. Question 13. What was the title of the 2015 space opera that starred Mila Kunis in the title role whose life is turned upside down when an interplanetary warrior, played by Channing Tatum, informs her that her destiny extends beyond Earth? That movie was called Jupiter Ascending. Question 14. Set in 2080 on the moon, Eddie Murphy stars in a 2002 science fiction comedy movie that became one of the biggest box office bombs of all time as what title character who buys a nightclub in an attempt to fulfill his lifelong wish? He stars as Pluto Nash in The Adventures of Pluto Nash. Question 15. With over 90 million records sold, what 1970 band that spanned the musical genres of R&B, soul, funk, jazz, disco, pop, and Afro-pop are one of the most commercially successful acts in history thanks to songs like Let's Groove and September? The planet is Earth. The group is Earth, Wind, and Fire. Question 16. A bank robbery scene from 1967's Bonnie and Clyde, as well as scenes from 1985's The Trip to Bountiful and Tom Cruise's 1989 film Born on the Fourth of July, were filmed in what town in Johnson County, Texas, that was named after the local doctor's daughter? The answer is Venus, Venus, Texas. Question 17. Ranked as the sixth largest privately held company in the United States by Forbes with $40 billion in annual sales in 2020, 
What is the name of the American multinational manufacturer of candy products like Skittles, Snickers, and Twix? That company is Mars. Mars Incorporated. Question 18. Released in North America in 1995, after the Sega Genesis and before the Sega Dreamcast, what was the name of the Sega home video game console whose most popular games were Virtua Fighter and the Panzer Dragoon Saga? The answer is the Sega Saturn. And question 19. The name Farouk Bulsara did not sound like a rock and roll legend. So Farouk changed his name to what? And then went on to form Queen in 1970, a solo career after that, and to this day is remembered as one of the greatest rock singers of all time. Farouk Bulsara changed his name to Freddie Mercury. Question 20. Since uranium had been named after the planet Uranus and Neptunium had been named after the planet Neptune, Element 94 was named what? Since its namesake was still considered to be a planet then as well. Element 94 was plutonium. Alright, that is it for today's trivia. Thank you guys for watching. This was suggested by a fan. I couldn't find the email. I don't know if they left me an email or sent me a comment or a suggestion or sent it on Instagram. I couldn't find it or else I would have given him or her a shout out. I wrote down the suggestion when I got it because it was a great suggestion. They said, oh, how about something with planet names in it? And I think they suggested the Sega Saturn, which is a great, I can't believe out of 780 plus trivia quizzes, I haven't done anything like that. It was an excellent suggestion. Hopefully you guys enjoyed playing it as much as I enjoyed writing it. I did not realize, first it was a little bit hard. I suggested on my, on my personal Facebook page. I asked if anybody had any suggestions for common items, places, or people with planet names in there. And a lot of people had a lot of good suggestions. So I was able to come up with 21 of them. Actually, I probably got enough for one and a half quizzes. So if I end up coming up with another 10 or 15 good suggestions, I might do Planetary Names Part 2. But if not, hopefully you enjoyed part one. If you got any good suggestions, you can leave them in the comment section below or shoot me an email at roadtripvia at gmail.com. Let's see. I don't think I have anything else to report. Check back tomorrow for another new trivia quiz. And here is question 21, the tiebreaker for planetary name trivia. Written by John Gray in 1992, what is the title of the relationship advice book that states that the most common relationship problems between men and women are because they metaphorically come from two different planets? Looking for the title of the book. The answer is men are from Mars and women are from Venus. All right, I think that's it for today. Other than to say that yesterday, oh, let's see, it was Friday? Yeah, Friday, we went to the Warner Brothers Studios where they filmed all of the Harry Potter movies and I got a ton of pictures and a ton of good questions and a ton of fun information. I just had a great time. So be expecting maybe next Saturday. 
Maybe next Saturday we'll do an all-inclusive Harry Potter trivia quiz, and I'll show you some of those new pictures that I got from Warner Brothers Studios. Great time. Uh, I think they've got them in several different spots. The one in London is the original where they actually filmed it, but they've got like Harry Potter World in Florida, and I know they're opening one up in several different places. But we went to the one in London, and I just thought that was so cool because they were the actual sets that they actually filmed the movies with, and they had all the costumes there. Um, I like Harry Potter. I'm not a huge Harry Potter fan. I like to watch it around Christmas time. But since we went there and I got to see all that and I got a ton of good pictures, be expecting in the next week or so, well, I would say in the next month or so, a 21-question Harry Potter trivia quiz with a lot of cool pictures. See you then.